Hello, welcome to lesson 52. Link to syntax in C sharp brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the link to syntax and also the link to queries with clauses. Right now, we'll understand what is link to syntax. Keep in mind if you're going to write a link to query, and link to provides you two basic ways to do that. One is using the query syntax, and the other is using the method syntax. Keep in mind, query syntax is also called as query expression syntax, and the method syntax is also called as method extension syntax or fluent syntax. Right now, we'll understand what is query syntax. Query syntax is similar to SQL. I think we all are familiar with SQL, the stru structured query language. What we do there? In the in the structured query language, we'll write a set of instructions or set of code. Your uh, in that set of code, what we are trying to do? We are trying to get the desired result. Okay. There we'll use SQL commands to do that work. But uh, coming to link you, we'll use a C sharp or uh, Visual Basic programming languages to write a link to query. This is about the query syntax. Before jumping into the next point, what we'll do is we'll see an image which explains you clearly about the query uh, query syntax. Okay, here is the image for that. You can observe here we have some key uh, operators here. In the last session we learned what are the operators which are going to be used when we write a link to query. Similarly, as of that what we learned in the last session here we are going to use some operators like your here, here you can observe like from operator and like other operators like filter, joining, grouping, aggregate and select or group by operator. But uh, keep in mind this is a syntax of query. It's a query syntax skeleton. What it explains you let us see in the previous slide okay keep in mind query syntax always starts with the from clause and can be end with a select or a group clause to verify to confirm the sentence let us jump into the image here you can observe as I said in the previous slide query syntax always start with the from operators yes obviously it's starting here and it will end with select or group by operators yes it is doing that I'm satisfied with this sentence okay Coming back to the third point, it tells us like uses various other operators like filtering, joining, grouping, sorting operators to construct the desired result. Let us understand this clearly. You can observe here the starting point is from operators and the ending points will be like select or group by operator. In the middle, you, ha you have to use some operators to get the desired result in the sense you are having a set of students. In that set of students, if you want to filter the students whose age is less than 10, then we have to use some operators for that and that operators is called as filter operators. Similarly, if you want to join few things, then we have to use joining or if you want to group set of uh, students, then we have to use the group operator and similarly the aggregate operators. It finally tells you like uh, if you want to get a desired result, then we have to make use of set of operators to do that work. Okay. and implicitly typed variable where can be used to hold the result of the link queue query. It means that uh, as I said in the example, if I am having a set of students, in that set of students I am going to uh, write a link queue query such that it is going to provide me uh, the list of students whose age is less than 10. So once I have get the desired result, my next objective is where I have to store it. I have to store it in a variable and what is the return type of that variable can be? It can be where that's that's the meaning of this sentence implicitly type variable can be used to hold the result of the link queue query okay and keep in mind link queue query syntax always ends with a select or group clause that's what we saw in the slide here uh, you can observe here at the it, it always ends with the select or group by operator it just give the output what the desired or what the other operators have done it just shows the output on the console screen okay sorry and the select clause is used to shape the data you can select the whole object as it is or only some properties of it the specialty of this select operator group uh, it means that uh, once you have got the desired result it's not that uh, you have to show the entire result to the user if you want to filter there also then you can make use of select operator and just print uh, the required result on the console screen that can be done using the select operator it tells us like select clause used to shape the data you can select the whole object or as it is or only some properties of it whatever you want to show to the user this is what the query syntax is and the second part is we'll understand the sum of operators which are going to be used basic operators which are going to be used when we write a link queue query right now without wasting much time we'll write a query link queue query using the query syntax keep in mind not the method syntax using the query syntax okay now uh, coming back uh, coming into the next slide 
here you can observe the sum of the operators which we regularly use to write a link query among them in this slide i am going to explain only the from operator okay now you can observe in this image we were having a set of uh, numbers which is uh, the integer array and the array name is nums and what is uh, in this slide we are going to learn only about from okay keep in mind all the queries whatever the link queries you write uh, always start with the from operator yes you can observe here it is starting with the from operator then we'll initialize one range variable and we'll have a query expression telling that in and nums what is this num nums is the data source here the data source is nums means the array of integers okay what we are trying to do here is here i am trying to tell like from in this query in this range variable uh, or in this data resources i want this set of uh, data but uh, what this from operator does it it it, uh, it tells you to initialize the query it is the place where you are initializing the query keep in mind all queries begin with the from keyword and keep in mind from consists of two things one is the query variable and the data resource okay if from consists of two things one is the query variable and sorry range variable and the data resource this is what the from consists of and finally you can observe the range syntax for the from clause like from range variable in data resource that's what we are doing here from range variable is n in the data resource is nums okay keep in mind from operators uh, from operators is like uh, all queries begin with this keyword itself that is from and it will it consist of two things one is the range variable and the data resource okay this is about the from clause okay now um, with explanation by side by side we'll we'll start uh, we'll open visual studio and we'll start coding also right now we'll code for the from clause okay how do i do that it's very simple come here and i'm already having a set of piece of code here you can observe here i'm having integer of array that is array name is nums i'm having a set of values now how do i start a link query link query always start with the from operator then how do i do it it's very simple var uh, positive numbers equals then how do i start my link query it's very simple i have to start with the from keyword and the range variable in the data resource here is array of integers and the name is nums okay i am done with the from operator keep in mind from operator it consists of two things one is the range variable and the data source here the data source is nums array of integers okay and uh, the other point you have to keep in mind is all the link queries starts with the from operators okay this is what about the from operator now right now we'll jump into visual uh, presentation and we'll understand the next operator here the next operator is var var clause what what is the advantage of using this var clause uh, var specifies the condition that element in data data source must meet okay as of now in this slide you can observe here here we are writing a condition like where this range variable n is greater than 0 it means we are writing a condition to to this data resource such that uh, i want um, i want i want a set of result whose value is whose value is greater than 0 it means i am trying to get the positive numbers from this data resource that's what the var clause is used var clause is used to write the condition where what the user wants to meet okay and only values which satisfy that conditions are obtained only whatever the condition here it is satisfying only that will get it as the result okay and you can observe it var clause it acts as like a filter for us it means we are filtering whatever the result we want not the extra things and query can have multiple var clauses it's not that we have, should have in a in one query we have only one query one where clause you can have multiple where clause in a link queue in a query syntax okay and it's not mandatory also to have this where clause and finally we are coming into the syntax syntax is something like this it will be having a where operator and followed by the boolean expression okay or the condition okay in this slide what we learned is we learned how to write a query using a link queue operator that is where operator okay let us implement in our code also we'll come here we'll write like uh, where there is range variable greater than is zero okay now i'm in the three by fourth of my coding let's jump into visual studio and i'll complete the link query okay what is the next operator once i'm 
once I, once I have specified the condition, once I have obtained the result, what is my next objective is? Next objective is collect that result and display on the console. Okay, here display on the console and uh, it's not that whatever the result we are getting, it's not that entire thing we have to show it on the console. Uh, we can filter the required part then we can show it on the console. So here the main intention is main usage of selectors all link queries end with the select or group clause keep in mind all link queries start with from operators and all link queries end with the select or group clause here we are going to learn only the select part it specifies what is obtained from the query what the select specifies is it specifies what is the output obtained in this link query okay it can generate anonymous type in the coming session we'll understand what is anonymous type and you can observe it ends with the semicolon okay and the syntax is something like this select and the result data that is query variable we are passing it as a result data here coming we will implement in the code also here what we are trying to do here is we wrote a query telling that from n in nums okay and where this n should get the result should be having a value such that it's greater than zero from this data resource once i am getting that once that condition is passed i'll get that result how do i select that result using the select operator and has to specify the range variable okay and at end with the semicolon now i am done i've done with my query what is this query going to result uh, giving query going to give you it's going to give you a set of numbers whose value is greater than zero like it's going to give you a set of positive numbers now once i'm done with this how do i print it on the console it's very simple i'll use for each loop to iterate through that for each item like i'll take uh, numbers the variable name and the collection is positive numbers okay and it's very simple I'll just uh, use I'll just print that variable numbers okay now when I run this program what what, it, what this link you query going to provide the result it is going to provide the set of numbers okay or positive numbers like 1 10 15 and 100 as expected and that's what that's what very simple very simple query we wrote it in this program this query is going to re retrieve you or give you back the positive numbers only and that's what we wrote in this link query and we we made use of some basic operators like from where and select we understood the importance of these operators also right now we'll jump back into presentation here you can observe the other operator other clause like uh, order by clause what it is going to do like uh, order by clause is used to sort the results of the query it means you are having a set of result and if you want to uh, sort that result in the ascending order or the descending order then we can make use of order by clause or order by operator and order by can be used with one or more criteria okay and can be sorted on ascending or descending or po portion or a single field default sort order is ascending by default the order by is having a property of ascending not the descending and the syntax is something like this order by sort on the direction okay it is tell like order by the variable with the direction now let us implement this also we'll jump back into coding and what we'll do is like uh, I'll just remove this part or I'll just comment this now I will to use order by how do I use this order order by n sorry can observe in the slide like it tells you the default sort order is ascending okay let's do with descending order okay now when I do this and when I run my program let's see whether it is providing me the output in the descending order as obviously it is providing the output in the descending order and let us play with it and let us format it like uh, arranging it in the ascending order okay by default it is ascending let us do it once okay is obviously it is doing it in the ascending order also this is what the importance of order by operator also thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Ankh Pro training below